Hello everyone, today we are going over the Blind 75 in C++, and today we are working with Fine Medium from Data Stream. Now, before we get started, um, whenever we are breaking down these questions, we always ask ourselves these four questions. If you are following along, feel free to pause the video to write them out. We always need to ask ourselves what the input's going to be, what data structure slash algorithm slash technique to use, what to do with the data, and finally, what our output's going to be. So, to go over the question, the median is the middle value in an ordered integer list. If the size of the list is even, there is no middle value, and the median is the mean of the two middle values. For example, for an array is equal to 2, 3, and 4, the median is 3. We know that. And for example, an array 2 and 3, the median is 2 plus 3 divided by 2 equal 2.5. Now, what we need to do is that we are given a median finder class and then we need to initialize the medium finder object, which will be right here. We have two other functions such as add num, which adds the integer num from the data stream to the data structure. And then a double find median returns the median of all elements so far with answers with within 10 to negative fifth power of the actual answer will be accepted. So we already know our constraints. And it looks like from the following question, we are given we are given a data stream of integers. And it looks like from what they want us to do from the output is that we will return the median of the numbers seen so far. If we want to go over the relationship between the input and the output, is that we have an input of medium fire, add num, add num, find median, add number, and find medium. We are calling upon these following functions. Uh, to be able to find the relationship between each of them since we have nothing to start with we have one and two null and null and then we have 1.5 accordingly and then null leading to two and the reason being is because rate equals one then we have one two and then therefore we return 1.5 one two then we have one two and three that we have already created and have an array and finally, we return to, which makes sense when we scan the following and call upon the necessary functions. So we call upon the necessary functions within this one, and we call up, and we scan through this data stream to have our final output accordingly. Okay, so if we already see the relationship between input and output, it looks like from this technique, we will use two heaps, a max heap to represent the smaller half and a min heap to represent the larger half of the data. And so what we will do with the data is that we will add numbers to the max heap or the min heap and rebalance the heaps if necessary so that the max heap contains the smaller half of the numbers and the min heap contains the larger half. The median is then either the top element of the max heap or the average of the top elements of the two heaps depending on the total number of elements all right and so just to break down over the steps that what we will need to do in this case will be that steps is that step one we're going to initialize a max heap and a min heap then we will create a function to add a number to the data stream which will be add num over here. Then we create a function to find the median of the data stream. And then in the add function, add the number to the max heap. If the max heap has more than one element, then the min heap we're going to move the top element of the max heap to the min heap. And if the top 
element of the max heap is greater than the top element of the min heap, we're going to swap the top elements of the two heaps. And then for the find medium function, If the total number of elements is odd, we're going to return the top element of the max heap. Otherwise, we're going to return the average of the top elements of the two heaps. And so, now to give a breakdown of exactly how this will look about is that for step one, it looks like we've already done so. We're not going to initialize anything yet. All we are going to do for the following, and we are also given your medium fire object will contain instances and called upon such, so that's just something to finally take into consideration we've already initialized for the following at the same time we're just going to be using the following to be able to create a function to find the median of the data stream and so the way how we are just going to go about this is really just focusing on these two to start with so entirely for so this will be two slash four accordingly and then this will be step slash five just breaking it down step by step and so for step four and tell you what we are going to do is that we're gonna do this part so this will be a this will be B and this will be C and this will be a and then this will be B these are just principles we need to take into consideration so a, B, C. So A is going to be, um, the first part is that we are going to, in the add function, add the number to the max heap. And we do so by, since we are given low to begin with, we need to, uh, in uh, a two heap, we are also given a low and a high uh, type of have a function uh, accordingly and so what we would need to do is that we need to go through step one actually step one accordingly will be we're going to first initialize a priority queue This is how we do this, int low. It's going to be our max heap. And we're going to call upon this upon the rest of our function. So step one accordingly. And then we will have uh, a max our min heap. So we have priority queue of int vector of another int as well. And we will check if greater int for high. All right, that's how we do it. And then we're going to go call upon these priority queues accordingly, since for heaps in general, queues are the data structure to use. So I will also put the comments in the, I'll put all these comments in the comment section as well. So this is just going back over what we need to do is that we have find median accordingly we can set it by itself given the function that we already set and we're just going to focus on these two accordingly so and add num what we will be doing is that we will create a function to add a number in the data stream 
and in the add function we're going to add the number in the max heap so this is our max heap and what we're doing is that we're going to add a number that we already have so low dot push since that's just one of the methods called within queues and then we will put in our num accordingly now for b if the max heap has more than one element then the min heap we're going to move the top element of the max heap to the min heap so we do this by calling upon our min heap for push and then we'll have our low top accordingly and then we're going to pop the max heap and if the top element of the max heap is greater than the top element of the min heap we're going to swap the elements of the two heaps and this will be c if low size is less than high size we will swap low push high top this is how we do this for priority queues then high pop mm -hmm. that's how we do that then moving over to step three for step three we need to find the medium function so find median function we're focusing on this part and we're just focusing on entirely in step five and in step five we're given if the total number of elements is odd we're going to return the top element of the max heap otherwise we'll return the average of the top elements of the two heaps and we can just do this entirely in one line by just using uh, the colon really it's useful for um, boolean conditions and since we are dividing up by two so what we will do is that we're just going to have a return and we're just going to call upon our max heap and call upon our condition if the total number of elements is odd return the top element of the max heap mm. and mm, useful for that so we have low size greater than of high size which will be the min heap or if the total number of elements is odd, return the top element to the max heap. So double for the low, the top of the max heap, and then low, top, high, top, 0 0.5 since we are focusing on odd um, elements to return for the top, uh, top of the element of the max heap. All right, and it looks like that we are through with this. Let me just double check to see if we have any other errors that we may need to go over. Let's run this. All right, it passes all the test cases. Let's submit. All right, now just to give a rundown and breakdown of our space and time complexity for the following solution is that the time complexity of adding a number uh, altogether is going to be O log of N, where N is the uh, total number of elements, and the time complexity of finding the median is O of 1, since it is always at the top of the heaps. While meanwhile, the space complexity is going to be O of N, where N is the total number of elements, as all the elements end up in the heaps. So yes, this was Find Median uh, from Datastream. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. If you found this helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.